Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update of what was going on with my life. Uh, if you guys have seen my earlier videos, you would have known that I was going to go to Thunder Hill East on February 6th. But it turns out plans have changed. Uh, I did get an email that there was going to be a change because for some reason Thunder Hill had decided to double book Thunder Hill East. And so it turns out our group voted on that we were going to do Thunder Hill West, which I'm okay with. I kind of wanted to go to Thunder Hill East because that was something new. I'd never been there before. But um, something did change since then. Uh, decided that it wanted to snow. So Last night it snowed about a foot. And it was kind of like I love the snow. And it's great. And I'm glad that it snowed. But I'm a little disappointed that I had to cancel my trip. Because over Donner Summit it's supposed to be... 32 degrees and snow and rain and in my two-wheel drive BMW with my track tires there's no way I would safely make it over the mountain and I don't have really have a trailer and a truck well I have a truck but I don't have a trailer that I can tow and bring it over with so a little bit of a disappointment but with that I am going to enjoy the snow um here let's get out and take a look it is a little bit windy out here so I am gonna apologize for that, but like, look how nice it is out here. You can see the, the snow blowing over the hills. Like, Reno's really nice when it snows. You can see the mountains. You can see how deep the snow is. Like, it just snowed on Monday, and it snowed about an inch to three inches or so, depending on where you're at. Um, but last night it snowed about a foot, I wanna say. Like, it, it's pretty deep, like arm's length. So, and it's supposed to snow for the next two weeks. And hopefully, we'll have some fun. Sorry I couldn't get any more video on that one. Uh, it was first thing in the morning when we were trying to get my girlfriend to work. Uh, she actually took that little short clip. Um, but the, the snow mound was about two feet tall and I got a little bit excited and thinking I could make it. And that was the first time I ever actually got my truck stuck. So, woo! So, but anyway, now that I'm done with all the snow play, or, well, there's still snow outside. I'll probably play a little bit more later. Uh, I got to deal with fixing this thing. So, let's go ahead and work on that. All right, so this turned out to be a lot easier to fix than I thought it was going to be. Uh, all I did was I took off the skid plate, put a little drain pan underneath there, and pulled the little hose off. And honestly, there wasn't really much fluid in there that came out. I didn't actually drain anything, but like there's a little splash. But new hose is in there. Uh, I do have to go out and get eventually a better sized hose clamp for this. That was the only one I could find that I had laying around, which it's a little bit big. Like it'll work for now, but I'll be able to at least start this up and get it warm just so I can see if there's any leaks or anything like that going on. Then I can put it all back together. All right, time to start it up. All right, let's see if this thing's leaking or not. So, so far I don't see any coolant leaks of any kind. But obviously it's not warmed up yet. We need to actually get this car warm before we check anything. So I'm going to pull it outside. That way you can, you know, warm up out there. And then I'll check on it in a minute once I'm done cleaning up my stuff. All right, so it's been actually a week now. I got it put back together. I had some other video recorded of me doing that, but my microphone decided that it wanted to die and I don't have any of that footage anymore. So, well, I have some of it. I might put it in there, but we'll see what happens. But I do have it put back together. It's been about a week now. I've been driving around. I haven't seen any leaks and I haven't really noticed anything for better cooling at the moment due to it only being 45 degrees outside. 
Uh, it was a little warmer for the last two days. It was about 55, but still not warm enough to really test it out. Now I did want to test it out at the track, but I'm not going to, as I said earlier, I'm not going to be able to do it at the beginning of February, which it is now. So I'm going to be going to Thunder Hill West on the 6th of March now, instead of the 6th of February. Uh, apparently it's going to be like their birthday bash, something or another, but by then it should be warm enough outside and no snow that I can drive my car there and test it out. So hopefully it works too well. I'll keep driving around until then just to make sure there's no leaks and everything's working right. And if you guys like what you saw, smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way the next time I post a video on one of my cars, you guys will know. Also, I post on Instagram from time to time. I'll leave my handle down below. Thank you guys, I'll see you next video.